So how do you create a Instagram carousel post using Jarvis? So I have not been doing some videos for a while so I'm doing this video to actually show you a process uh, that you may want to take into account when you are doing something on Instagram. So let's say on Instagram, Instagram you can actually do posts, you can actually do carousels, you can also do reels and of course stories. So I like to actually start with carousel because carousel no matter how people say it is still a very uh, I would say that it's still a very very good uh, kind of posting on Instagram so the question is how do you do it so the day I'm recording this video is on 1st of November and I would like to just touch on copywriting so since I'm doing Jarvis so I like to do something on copywriting so this is what I do what I have done actually so I'm going through the process so that you know this is actually what I've done right so number one I like to go to um, Jarvis, log on to it, and the first thing you need to know is that you got to know what's the topic. So for example, uh, this is 1st of November, perhaps I would like to create a post on copywriting, my top 5 copywriting hacks for November 2021. So that might be the topic you want to do. Now, if you are a subject matter expert, which I highly recommend when you're doing carousel, you got to be the subject matter expert because your niche represents you. And if you are not actually the subject matter expert and you put something in IG, people can smell. Okay, so don't do that. So really, really, you, you got to know what is your what is the subject that you're talking about so in this case copywriting and let's start with this idea I want to talk about five copywriting hacks so of course you can come up with yours right so the thing is that I'm a bit lazy I would say that I'm a bit more um, uh, I want to outsource this to Jarvis now I'm not asking Jarvis to come up with something for no reason so what I'm going to do is I actually went to Jarvis blog post okay so this is the outline so this is what I've done okay so outline I just put my top five copywriting hacks okay the tone of voice now a lot of famous and very reputable copywriters are available for you to choose so in my case I tend to use Jim Edwards I tend to of course you can put anybody of your choice okay Jim Edwards five copywriting hacks okay I can even put four for November 2021 to me it doesn't add any value if you are asking blog post outline to do something okay so I will just leave it as it is so what I did then was I I actually asked Jarvis to run up with some come up with some ideas so I look at this you see that hey there are quite a lot so what I did was let me move myself to the top, bottom right you do see that what I have done is that I'm asking I'm asking Jarvis to give me input okay and the input you can see well there are like five inputs here like do you like this okay then you can actually use it okay and then the second suggestion is you see that one two three four five six although I asked for five Jarvis gave me six so this is something you need to take note that is what we call fact checking and also quality review don't just copy and paste on your article without even uh, vetting it very very important so here what I've done is that I actually go through I've gone through this and I kind of quite like the first one by the way so for the purpose of demonstration what I did was I just copy and paste the first five okay and you then see that on my right hand side here you can see show don't tell well, which is true right for copywriting you do not tell your audiences you show them the results you show them the benefits not the features okay if you're a copywriter you know what I'm talking about write the way you talk of course you're not writing novel <laughs> you're not writing any uh, formal formal letters you've got to write in the way that you see as if you were talking so that makes sense to me the third one use numbers seven tips top five hats we use that all the time like discover three secret success tips to help you scale your business for example so use number to grab their attention or I like that okay tell a story that people can relate of course and then last but not least keep your copy short and sweet so I actually direct copy this file I'm okay with that 
like if you have other suggestions of course you can ask Jarvis to run some more suggestions for you so what I did then was I copy I then what I do is that I use the second step so the second step is this I move myself to the bottom right again I go to something called I go to something called uh, let me see what I did sentence explore expander now you see that I've got show and tell right so there's just one line and how do I come up with this well of course there are two things you can do one is that you can do something called command J if you are Apple if, uh, if you're using Windows is uh, control J so you can actually do that I just run command J for you to see and you will see that mm, but but I don't want that I want Java to elaborate for me so I don't like this so sometimes control J may not give you the result. so therefore what I did was I have put it put this show and tell uh, show don't tell under sentence expander okay I send an expander and see what comes up so I actually have done it a few times that's why you see here five is keep your copy short and sweet right so actually I have done it here so the same idea I did what I did was that I do show don't tell I just copy here and now one Jarvis please expand for me in the tone of copywriter okay thank you very much let's see so that is what you do and see what Jarvis come up with by all means there's nothing I would say perfect that's number one two it also depends on how, how often do you use Jarvis like have you actually given Jarvis some materials on copywriting in this case so that Jarvis has something in his database okay so you can see that it's not very good oh my god it's like duh, duh, duh. it's not what I like so what else can I do well what else do I do is that I actually if I scroll down to uh, scroll down uh, I did this about this is like 5.30 now so I did it around uh, I did it around I think five or six hours ago so the question is how did I come up with that so the other thing you can do is you can actually use this function called command enter so you do have to give Jarvis a command Jarvis please expand show don't tell okay so you need to write something like this and then you cover the whole thing okay and then you at this point you hit command enter or, or Windows control enter you see what comes up okay so to the extent you like it of course then you would adopt this if not then you what you do is just to ask Jarvis to run someone's suggestion and see what comes up of course you can choose to type on your own remember this is carousel you don't need a lengthy article this is not an article this is like I just want a paragraph or maybe just two lines so what I did was I, I can ask what I did was I actually asked um, Jarvis on sentence expander to expand this so that's how I came up with this particular sentence okay so let me just come back where was I where was I okay here okay so I'm not saying that it has to be like first time right you got to train Jarvis to do it properly all right so once you have done that then you just repeat the process for the rest okay you just repeat the process for the rest okay so what Jarvis has done just now let me just delete this so instead of instead of talking about it show the product in action not the feature but the benefits like if you are a copywriter once again you should know what I'm talking about right so my point is that if you like it then you just adopt it and one thing I do I do is that I would want to actually rewrite this two things I would do one is I would just hit the rephrase button which is now on the top right hand corner because of the changes of the feature so you can do that okay sometimes this may not work well it depends on the synonyms that Jarvis have come up with okay you don't like it fine the next thing you can do is just to copy the whole thing you go to this place called content improver okay content improver which is here content improver and then you just ask Jarvis to run this okay tone of voice is copywriters and then just generate let me move myself back here okay so you can do this too so there's no right or wrong like 
why must I use content improver and not rephrase and once sometimes I do rephrase and not content improver I, I just want to get the best of best results that I, I can get okay so I have these options so this is kind of my habit already okay if you like it then you just adopt it and then what I do is that once I have actually adopted it I would want if I'm using content improver just one tip from my experience I will also just run it one more time on the rephrase so you see uh, I've got rephrase okay that is the first thing if I don't like the, the result come up from rephrase, rephrase then I'll go to content improver once I adopted that paragraph from content improver I still want to go to rephrase to just do one more time I just want to want to make it like okay it, it, it sounds better it looks better okay so that's where I'm coming from so with that now I have a decent content for carousel now the next thing that you want to do is okay now you've got this right then you need to have a software or apps that allows you to do uh, carousel then obviously the place that I, I went to or I use is called Canva I mean most of you knows that so Canva so let me open up my Canva on the other screen first. I show you, I show you the, the things that came up that came up with this morning. So you see, uh, now I'm moving my Canva here. So what I did was simply copy and paste whatever I've gotten from Jarvis in terms of the content. So this is you can see this is like that. Okay, show don't tell you just saw that right. Okay, and then write the way you talk. So all you do is just to like use Canva to create the template. There's a template for you to create all these kind of what I call a carousel post. And then once you have done that, you see nice, nice. There's, there's your set my face, and then you like comment. There's a call to action, whatever. Okay, so this is Canva. Okay, if you don't have Canva, what can you do? Well, there will be other apps available, but Canva is free of charge if you're using the free version. So why not, right? So use that okay the next thing that i do is okay once i've i've done with this let me move over then what i do next is i have another app so this one i use it i use a paid version i use a paid version and this is called preview so i've actually scheduled this post at 7 pm tonight which means it's about it's in less than one half hours this post will then be seen on my ig okay so I'm not asking you to follow my IG account. It's not my intention. All I'm saying is that you can use free tools, Jarvis, to create the contents. Canva to create the design, the look and feel of the post. You've got to post it somewhere, right? So I like preview. I use preview, actually. Uh, of course, I'm not saying that I'm promoting it, promoting preview. I, I'm not even a feeling of preview by the way all i'm saying is that i use preview to post my video to post my reels to post my carousel because i just find it easy so if you are interested then you check it out if you have other tools available to, to you to create your carousel by all means all right um, that's it i'm done all right so come coming up with this particular one carousel so once you have done this post okay what else can you do now the next idea is that this is carousel right but do you realize that you can actually turn out an article so what i then need to do is that okay now i've got the meat when i say meat the ingredient i can now ask Travis to elaborate this so right now i've got 210 words so if you want to write something like say uh, 1000 words article then of course you do need an introduction right so then i will do this i haven't done this yet but this is what I'm going to do. Do you see that I've been creating an IG carousel? You can actually repurpose it and you can expand on it and create an article, a long form article. So this is what I will do. So I'm doing this together with you guys. So I'm turning to my blog post intro paragraph. Okay. Okay. So the title is my top five. Okay. So I'll just copy and paste it. Now my screen is squeezed in such a way because I want the video to be properly captured. So that's the reason, okay? So my audience will be copywriters, okay? The tone neutral, I'm fine. So generate AI content, okay? So this is what I will do. First of all, I will always create an introduction. 
and see what's come, come what comes up. I don't know. Okay? Have you ever seen so close to finishing a project only get stuck on the last step? It's frustrating. I've been there. Sometimes you just need extra push. Okay, uh, okay, that's not what I want. If you're a copywriter, there's a good chance that you spend most of the day writing blah blah blah. Okay. Okay, so that 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 may be a good introduction. Writing for the web is unique. Uh, I don't like it. You may not know this. I am uh, okay. Never mind. So it seems that this one, of course, of course, it's just the first few lines. Maybe a good introduction. So I just put it here first. I'm not going to say anything because at the end of the day, you would want to make sure that the introduction supports what you're going to write. Here is top five copywriting hacks. So in such a case, you may even want to ask yourself, do you really want to write your own intro and ask Jarvis to run some something called the rephrase button. Hit the rephrase button and let Jarvis just do it for you. Okay, so you put the content first and then you come up with this. And then in each of these paragraphs, what you do is of course you can hit Ctrl J or Command J and see what Jarvis comes up. So basically for a thousand word article, I'm okay for Jarvis to give us like two paragraphs under each point that will be about a thousand word. It may not give you first time right or first time results that you want. Like I said, you need to go back to my previous videos about how to write article and there are quite a lot of techniques that I actually deploy. So I'm just giving you an idea here whereby I'm going to do this of course. That is like how do you create carousel post? Which is still quite uh, attract, uh, quite good to attract views and followers. And on the other hand, how can you integrate start with an IG carousel and then expand on it as an article? And who knows? And you might know that what if you can turn this article into a video? So that's what we call repurposing. Same content, different media. Does that make sense? So I hope you enjoy this particular uh, video about something that I am I'm using Carousel. So you see, I'm post I, my post is going to be up in just one hour and fifty minutes time. So just wanted to know that there are many ways to tackle Jarvis. And if you like some more ideas, just make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that when I'm and wherever I'm posting any videos. Uh, you get a notification on that. And finally, finally, if you have any request, special request about certain things that you want to explore using Jarvis, but you're not sure or you can't get the answer in the Facebook group, okay? Sometimes there are people who, who couldn't get the answer. So you can actually drop a comment below. Let me know what it is about. If it is within my domain and expertise, I've been using Jarvis for four months already. So if it's something that I can help, I'm happy to help. All right. So with that, thanks for watching this video. Jack Walk here signing off, and all good wishes.